Ow. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to map three of the ESEA Season 14 Grand Finals. Now, uh, this is a best of three with the score count tied up, one a piece. If HRG wins this, then they are the winners of the Season 14 ESEA Invite Division. And if Classic Mixup wins this match, then we will have a reset and a second best of three will be played. Now, uh, look at this. Uh, we are in the blue for HRG, so Tag coming around the corner <laughs> actually doesn't even get a frag. I was seeing that outline thanks to the uh, advanced spectator plugin created by Blue that we're using. I seen that outline behind the house. I was like, how did he even get back there uh, without being uh, unnoticed? Uh, but uh, does get uh, caught down. So now it looks like HRG forced to just kind of hang out. Um, not necessarily a problem with the quick fix, which we are see uh, in use here. Any questions about that and its play in this game, uh, please check out the previous maps. Um, but uh, just Viaduct, you, you have to be really disciplined about staying back. You don't get the push. If the push doesn't work, you got to come in and push again as six. Here we see the quick fix coming in from Blue Team. Red Team uh, gets to hold on to theirs a little bit longer. Uh, the quick fix heavy also very devastating. Um, personally played against that in the last week of the ESCA season and we didn't do so good either. Um, blue team, uh, that is HRG, having some troubles uh, connecting and getting a lot of frags here. But it is starting to maybe turn their way as Harglu gets picked off and classic mix up down to three. So uh, HRG starting to move in here and get the retake. HRG with a minute off of uh, the timer. So that's a pretty good time to start things off. Uh, you know, 30 seconds is kind of disappointing on your first hold. Uh, so a minute's uh, pretty good. Both teams now with the Uber Charge again. So we'll see how these teams uh, position themselves. It looks like Smacka getting towed forward uh, by uh, probably Harblue since the Sulter no longer around. Yeah, there's Platinum with his stainless steel pot head. And uh, he gets taken out as well. So Blue Team doing a good job of now wrapping around, uh, gaining solid control of the area. See uh, scouts pushing forward, pressuring uh, classic mix-up and classi classic mix-up withdrawal all the way into the inner area of uh, uh, Viaduct, their, their spawn area. This is also uh, Viaduct Pro, if you're not familiar uh, with that. The summer theme uh, kind of disturbs you. Um, there's basically the most major addition is a little hallway to the left there. We just got a, a brief glance at. And uh, Red doing a good job of uh, just kind of posting up on their stair side. Now they're starting to spread out, moving to other areas, uh, taking the positioning behind the house. Again, quick fixes ready to go for both teams. Uh, Crits Krieg, usually a favorite on Viaduct, so we'll see if that comes out, especially to counter the quick fix. Now we see the Red Medic getting a little too far forward, being chased out, but still that massive overview. Uh, of the quick fix uber uh, being able to uh, get the medic out safely now benny uh, pipes down uh, hard blue is getting pretty far forward with him you just also see those pipes flying forward trying to get platinum uh, but uh, basically classic picks up able able to survive and get the frags there uh, besides of course hard blue going down so now the timer looks like it's going to be uh, flipping in the other direction with HRG taking a minute 30 off and now Classic Mix Up going to overlap that time. Uh, no reason to panic quite yet for HRG, uh, but uh, this is just kind of how these Viaduct rounds pick up in intensity. Now Sizer was trying to push middle uh, as heavy weapons guy. You know, Shade must have been somewhere around him. He goes down. A lot of other players going down. They do just get their charge here. Um, you know, so no big deal with those sacrifices and, and losing those players. Um, you know, Viaduct. Sometimes you just gotta throw players out, see if you can maybe create an opening uh, during those kind of down periods. Now we see the uh, quick fix pop, maybe a little bit early, um, but it looks like Smacka doesn't really have a charge uh, to compete with, uh, so that will definitely be beneficial for High Roller Gaming uh, as they are able to retake the middle point here. Now, 48 seconds is uh, the timer uh, for Classic Mixup. Uh, on this King of the Hill format, but certainly uh, a possibility that HRG might just be able to hold it all the way through. We do have the quick fix ready. Looks like they're getting in position to go. Platinum jumping forward with his medic. Oh, but the trap on the rock just uh, kind of predicts the uh, quick fix medic drop in. Takes him out very quickly. Nice play by Danny there. Also, Scout getting behind Seagull on Demo Man. Not able to take him down, but there we go. Finally, Lansky with the shotgun. Seagull is down to 21 health, so definitely quite low there. 
Um, and uh, HRG still holding on to the point. They're going to overlap the classic mix ups uh, uh, capture time and uh, look like they're in a, a fantastic position to be able to hold on here. Basically toe to toe with uh, HRG's uh, Uber Charge. Now, uh, HRG does concede there. That was a good job with the uh, Debes uh, kind of making me eat my words as I was saying them. Um, surprise that. Uh, ooh, ouch. Nice bomb and kill on Shade by R Blue. Big frag there. HRG is going to just push forward uh, and get aggro in response. It's going to pay off too. Now it's just uh, best and uh, Siegel. You see Siegel on cliffside. The capture point going to trade hands once again. So not the uh, longest capture hold uh, for classic mix up there. HRG, even though they lost Shade to a very nice bomb, able to just kind of man up, get the frags, and, and, and work their way through it. We also see the uh, first uh, item switch from the medics here as Shade switches to Crit Creek here. About a 50% charge, um, you know, depending on how the fights go. Well, and definitely there, Platinum gets Shade, so as I say, not going to have time to charge it. Uh, the capture's going down here. Uh, three just left for uh, HRG. Classic mix-up has more players at the moment, but the scouts jumping around, and here comes Lansky. Big jump in, takes out Smacka. Lansky still a uh, decent health, 45 now. Banny and Shade start to roll in here. Looks like they're gonna get the retake with the clock ticking down. Harblue jumps in here. Um, clock though is going away. Harblue really the only player here. Pulls out the escape line for a second. Another soldier jumping out, and Platinum just gets shut down right away, so. Very close round there. Uh, basically went down to uh, that fight in the last 30 seconds and just kind of uh, how the teams were able to man up and get the frags. Big plays by Platinum, uh, but unfortunately, you know, uh, Lansky came in, uh, big plays uh, on his own there. And then uh, the scouts doing good work just staying alive and uh, able to put enough damage out long term. And by the time that Danny got back into the fight with Shade, it just wasn't the way uh, that they could contest the players they had. Now, uh, teams kind of positioning around, uh, the capture point finally being unlocked. Uh, one of the players thrown up in the air, I believe that was, uh, Lansky, uh, gets taken out. Uh, three on three, but the medic up for HRG, they haven't gotten the capture. Actually gonna back up a little bit and protect this charge. Just figure, well, you know, you just give them the point right now. A little bit scared of their scouts. Let's just kind of post up, uh, wait for the rest of our players, and then we can get in there together. Uh, so Enigma comes back to get the capture point. Now we, we see HRG uh, doing exactly kind of what I uh, predicted. Uh, moving in hard. The quick fix Uber, not quite enough for Lansky, as powerful as it is. Uh, the quick retake going to go down. And a lot of pressure on uh, Smacka, but he's able to persevere through that. And uh, he has a 70% on a Crit's Creek charge. Uh, that's compared to a 40% for Shade. So hopefully they'll be able to utilize that Crit's Creek charge. I mean, even if Shade backs up and fully builds that quick fix before they push in, uh, they're definitely at a disadvantage to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Crit's Creek uh, charge and the extra damage that it spits out. So about 90% charge here, getting ready to go. Uh, but this could be a big pick if, if they get Seagull here, which looks like he was definitely overextended, no support whatsoever. A one-on-one -on -one against uh, one of the best scouts in the game, plus a soldier uh, who's at the top of his game. And uh, Siegel goes down quickly. Uh, you know, thankfully they're able to pick up some other frags. Tag and Shrugger go down, so there wasn't really a super huge HRG presence uh, pushing forward. You know, but if that uh, Chris Krieg was forced to just be used on you know a soldier, uh, that would have definitely lost some of its uh, potential there. Now pressure coming in from HRG, uh, big uh, bombs from one of the soldiers, that's Lansky getting way far forward. The Chris Creek is popped uh, in return, and there goes Smacka. Follow-up damage from Tag to get Harblue. He's uh, uh, fighting Platinum as well, but Moose is going to get the frag there. And uh, Shade stays back, and they still have the quick fix, so uh, I guess that was a, a suicide five of sorts, but they got big frags with it, um, made plays happen, and uh, they're going to... I don't know, they're going to make more plays happen off the back of that. Uh, as it uh, uh, looks like now Smack has switched over to the Quick Fix. Um, and uh, Frag's going down for the way of HRG. Two so far. Uh, Platinum getting the respawn. Harbour about to respawn as well. Looks like Enigma's on Snipes. Um, I think he did get the shot on Tag there. Not 100% sure on that. Um, but uh, more Frag's going the way of HRG. So Tag goes down. Sizer... Fairly low, but now he's getting healed back up. And uh, they actually lost Smack in there as well. So 
Um, definitely lower on the uh, uh, a charge amount ready for him. So this is a, this is a big game. I mean, the, the culmination of the ESCA season. Uh, it always going to be interesting to see you know how teams uh, choose to adjust going forward from this into uh, season 15. Now uh, HRG is uh, you know attending uh, I49 as a team after this. No indications that they might uh, switch rosters. Uh, and uh, season 15, you know, probably going to be another very exciting season of ESEA. Uh, just kind of discussing things with the uh, uh, other Portland Burnsiders uh, yesterday. I don't think that we're going to be playing again next season, uh, which means that uh, even though as busy I, as I am, I will have uh, more availability to uh, cast some TF2. So uh, perhaps some collaborations with some other people and you'll be uh, hearing more of my voice uh, during some live broadcasts and uh, some other uh, ESEA matches. Anyways, back to the action at hand. Um, Hard Blue uh, trying to get some snipe on. Uh, mixing up uh, off of Soldier instead of uh, sending Enigma to snipe. That's because Enigma is on heavy right now. So uh, running a, uh, a pro lander setup, as I like to call it, one of each class. And uh, Red definitely pushing forward, getting on top of the point. But uh, even though they captured it, they just lost so many players. And uh, wow, yeah, there goes a, a couple more. And that's something that you have to be uh, careful of if you're uh, playing Viduct, you know. It is about the point. It is about getting the capture. And I guess even too, sorry, this tip is just kind of general for TF2. Uh, if you capture the point, but, you know, you, you lose four people in the process and the other team's right there. It, unless it was the last point, it really just doesn't matter because you're just going to flip the point right back over instantly. And that's what we saw there by mix-up. Now they're getting in here again. They have a good presence. You know, but if they get a capture and they lose four people... It, it's just going to retake. Here's the uh, uh, quick fix Uber, though. Um, the heavy kind of pushing around the corner a little bit, uh, but not really getting a lot of damage or a lot, lot done out there. Um, Shade was forced to pop his as well, so at least a little bit of an equilibrium there, but now that's thrown off balance uh, as uh, some big damage going down on classic mix-up. <laughs> HRG also uh, fairly well posted up, kind of further back. More frags uh, uh, trying to get thrown down here as uh, a lot of pressure on top of the scout, but big dodges. Sizer finally goes down. Uh, DeBess had uh, 99 health, and at the end there, I think Sizer was down to just three, so I uh, would have had to take uh, a, a direct meat shot to make that happen. Classic mix up, pretty well buffed. Uh, HRG as well, but they're waiting for Sizer to catch back up. 100% um, uh, charges on both teams, still on quick fixes. Uh, jump across from the uh, uh, red uh, pocket, uh, dragging the medic, uh, medic with him. Uh, DeBest goes down. There goes Enigma as well. Both scouts down, and that's very important, very crucial uh, on Viaduct. Uh, scouts, uh, so important. So HRG going to get the capture here, but uh, they did let it get to overtime for red team. Uh, so, you know, if uh, red captures, that's it for the round. Uh, sometimes that can be a pretty major difference if, uh, you know, the other team just has like two seconds left because uh, then they can capture, but then as long as you put time on the point, you can push it into overtime and uh, leads to some crazy uh, matches. So here comes the jump in from uh, Classic Mixup. They've got to throw it all down on the table right here. Shade 90%, but I, I, he's not really going to need it as this is a desperation from Classic Mixup. But HRG now taking a 2-0 lead. And uh, halfway to uh, what they need to take this map, to take this land, and uh, celebrate winning first place. Now, HRG also, as I mentioned in the last uh, uh, video, uh, did also win the last land to qualify for the I-49 uh, land championships in uh, Telford, England. Uh, which is going to be a fantastic event. Uh, and uh, we'll see right here if they can uh, become uh, repeat champions. Um, I'm not sure my T2 history is a little shoddy. I'm not sure how, if any uh, other teams have accomplished that. If so, probably uh, was uh, the EMG team uh, that uh, was you know, kind of uh, what this team evolved out of uh, with Banny and Sizer and Shade. EMG uh, then become Leviathan Gaming uh, and uh, Quantic Gaming as well. The other names that that team was known by uh, throughout the ages. And now uh, HOG in a sense. 
classic mix-up. Hopefully they will uh, stick around, continue to be a strong team next season. Oh, here we go, hard blue. Big spy frag, getting tagged. Just walks right up, tag. Not, not thinking about it. And uh, hard blue with the big, big frag. Tag even throws out the LOL. Uh, now some other frags coming down here for classic mix-up as well. Um, <laughs> tag even say, I hate heavy. You saved me. Uh, funny stuff there. Uh, yeah, big frags continuing to come out here for classic mix-up. So. HIG got the beginning of this round, uh, you know, 40 seconds, which again is kind of a bit more of that wishy-washy of a, a decent hold. You know, you started it out, but if you give it up, you could easily be flipped over. Oh, Siegel, nice pipes on Shrugger to get the frag, but uh, the explosions in his own face, um, too much to handle. So there we go. Looks like we do have some Medigun switch up uh, from Shade. So he's going Crits Creek and uh, Quick Fix still from Smacka. Players uh, rotating, jumping all around. Uh, Lansky does uh, get a skip in and able to uh, take down Smacka. But really, that's the only frag. Uh, since this is uh, definitely seems like a bit of a suicide, though, that's all you need. Um, is they're about to get the spawns here. Now, 75% charge. Going to be able to push in here and uh, maybe get a retake. Let's see uh, where they decide to work here from. Looks like Lansky going forward, but probably just more of a poke. Um, trying to see what the situation is, where players might be before they reveal their cards. Or maybe they're just spread out. Banny going to come in here, take out Smacka and the best. Uh, try to jump counter push in, but uh, just gets shoved down by Sizer. Stops all forward momentum. Siegel the only one up. We're going to get an easy retake here by HRG. And uh, uh, that means that, uh, you know, they're going to have to hold it an extra minute in order to be able to catch up where a classic mix-up is in a great, great situation right now where uh, even though HRG doesn't know it, uh, classic mix-up running the quick fix again, uh, but with the advantage that they had to that Chris Creek, and uh, at least for a second there, yep, they were Boston Bash uh, building it, uh, so they should be able to get this, you know, ahead of the quick fix uh, charge. Um, see how swiftly they use it here. Indeed, right away, Banny does get a kill on Moose. Keeping the camera, though, on the combo as uh, pressure comes in to take out Banny. And I don't think Shade was connected. Yeah, could have had a crit scout for just a little bit there. Great hold, though, by uh, HRG. Smacka has the quick fix, so uh, it's a question of how long that hold might last. Um... Scout's floating around as well. Some pressure on the combo, but it looks like the scout So I just rotate further, get further behind. Uh, tag goes down. Uh, Lansky does get a kill on Harblu. Scout still uh, pressuring Siegel all over him. No support. Siegel does get that health back, though. So, uh, I mean, you know, that's that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Ooh, and the best just barely cuts down Sizer for the next time. Platinum uh, shot down. Wants to have the escape plan out as well. Mission ends in 60 seconds. Now, uh, Shrugger gets a kill on Siegel, a big loss for Mixup, and uh, HRG just a sliver away from retaking, which it looks like they will be able to do here. The crits is out. Uh, yeah, has been used. Uh, I didn't see a whole lot on the kill feed there. Uh, maybe, you know, just some damage, uh, uh, maybe just the assist, maybe just the presence of having the crits. Now Banny's going to uh, set some traps here. Um, get prepared, get ready for the next onslaught of Classic Mixup. We do have that quick fix charge. Clock is ticking away, getting uh, tighter and tighter here at the end of the map, and they definitely have got to get a capture here uh, in order to get some momentum going. Now, Red jumps in, and one of the blue soldiers jumps around. I think that was Tag. He does get Siegel. Kind of keeps getting isolated um, as the teams are shifting around here. Hard Blue Platinum getting frags. Shag, uh, Shade, <coughs> excuse me, just hanging back and uh, going to build this crit streak. So, uh, I don't see an overbuff on Banny. Yeah, he's not healing Banny right now. He is healing Lansky. Lansky has gotten some big crit screen kills in the in the past. Tries to get the crit shotty from long distance on Shade as well. Got one rocket. <clears throat> we'll see if they can end up getting the capture here. They're bringing great pressure though as they get platinum. Now <clears throat> flank pressure from Siegel as well. And uh, oh, uh, Smacka gets a frag on Lansky, but kind of just a consolation frag as Hard Blue now uh, thrown up in the air. Oh, all over the place. Tag, great rocket though, as Hard Blue lands. The capture has been finished. 30 seconds, counting down. Going to be able to get an advantage here. And then they're continuing to build the Crits Creek. So, you know, in this game of rock, paper, scissors, HRG definitely able to just keep, keep scissoring it. Just keep throwing that same thing and uh, make it work. Um, you know, Uber Charge can work on Viaduct, but it's definitely 
a little bit slower with the charge rate. Uh, Smacker goes down early. The crit sweep is out. Fanny's going to get a 2k with it. Sharker gets platinum as well. The best goes down. Seagull goes down. It is a wipe. Shade the only one down. And platinum uh, forced to call the good half as they just watch the capture time fade away. And uh, Sharker loves his gun. Uh, good half for HRG as they take a 3 0 lead. What more could you ask for? Um, close rounds, though, uh, despite the scoreboard. But HRG, that slight lead just uh, paying off in uh, full dividends is that they will take every single round uh, closely at the end. So uh, now it is a match point for HRG. Makes up facing elimination. They're going to get aggressive with three players, and three players are going to go down. Now the best gets lit up and destroyed. And uh, HRG going to take this point uh, confidently and smoothly. Uh, that's a, a excellent start for HRG. I mean, uh, nothing more you could ask for. Uh, the quick fix is back. Oh, well, you know that that helps. <laughs> uh, excellent trap. Wow, uh, great placement. Uh, watching banning is always illuminating. I mean, it just, uh, I, I was playing some demo man for a bit, and it's always just, man, mind blowing. I, I, I struggle with traps, getting good traps, laying good traps, getting the timing down. Uh, that was just excellent execution from banning. Uh, definitely showcases why he's one of the most feared demo man out there. Uh, Enigma is going to mix it up by uh, switching a sniper. Does get a shot on banning there. Only takes him down to about 120. A uh, fully charged regular shot uh, would uh, get the frag now. Um, you know, obviously a headshot would uh, work wonders as well. There we go. Takes out Sizer though with that fully charged shot. Wow, look at uh, where uh, Siegel is. Very aggressive. Not able to get a whole lot of damage on Tag. Running that heavy weapons uh, class he doesn't seem to enjoy too much. Now uh, Enigma going down. So the frag's continuing to go HRG's way here. As uh, the clock is just counting down in a minute, 30 is a, a very good start uh, for your first hold. Uh, I, I'd say 30 seconds is like, yeah, like that's that's okay. Like you, you're hanging in there. Really would have wanted to get better. Ooh, here we go. The crit screen though, getting uh, big frags for Seagull. Uh, now he's getting a little bit more involved, doing good work here. Uh, Banny though uh, counters that with a, a 2K. Platinum with the shotgun right behind him though, and there goes mix up with the first capture. So. There you are. Now, uh, Shade just spawning. Uh, going Crits Creek, so we might actually see Crits versus Crits. Uh, Smacka going to be about, yeah, 15. Oh, well, 10% behind him. Um, maybe just a little bit of uh, display errors there. Uh, maybe he's actually building up pretty fast. HRG just gets shoved back a little bit, but I mean, look at look at this. The, they're just so far forward. They're so more, much more aggressive. Casa Mixup did finally get that capture, but they just had to pull back all the way. And there's that, you know, a 30 second capture. Just disappointing. It just doesn't doesn't compare to, to you know, I mean, if it's a, if it's a war against the clock, uh, you know, 45 seconds, a minute, that's like minimum of what you can expect in terms of capturing the point, hanging out, being able to survive, and then dying. Uh, 30 seconds is really just doesn't give you a whole lot. And uh, it definitely usually entails uh, a quick uh, switch back over. Uh, looks like we had a pause there. Uh, Lucky Luke uh, doing the editing uh, to take things out. We'll get the re resume there. There we are. We are back. Um, I don't believe there was too many crashes uh, at uh, ESCA LAN uh, this season. Um, always, you know, if you have a LAN event, always trouble. Oh, Banny! Big 2K there getting Platinum and Seagull responding with some fire um, as that uh, pause uh, was uh, taken off. Uh, so there we go, HRG with the recap. Again, you know, Classic Mixup able to get that point uh, for a little bit, but just took, you know, 14 seconds off. And uh, you're just not going to win uh, a Viaduct if, if you can only get 30 second captures or 14 second captures. And the opposing team is obviously getting longer captures than you. Not obviously, but <clears throat> in this case, uh, certainly is. Uh, Mixup, though, is, uh, you know, kind of putting some frags together. Smack is up. Enigma going to have to go gigantic here. And uh, with four health, you know, dodges, dodges a couple bullets, but uh, can't pull the, the entire Keanu Reeves out. Uh, and uh, goes down with his four health to a pistol from Sugar. Now, uh, oh, 
I was hoping we'd get to see uh, a chance of Lansky hitting that air shot. Uh, but Shugger's just going to take down Platinum uh, with the scatter gun. Now, uh, mix up have to hold on here for two minutes and ten seconds. And they're pretty much already, you know, having troubles holding on to this point and maintaining it. Uh, only up to, to three players. The Chris Creek is out on the scout. Enigma gets a frag. Oh, switches to Seagull just in time to get Banny and Shrugs. So that's going to help things out significantly. But Shade with that 95% quick fix. Uh, now going to have all of his spawns. This is definitely a dire situation for Classic Mixup. And we'll see what HRG can do here to win this land. Oh, big damage from Tag and Lansky on Platinum. Lansky getting robbed from an assist on the uh, kill team. Uh, uh, Shade does go down. There goes Tag and Sizer. But 3-4 down for Classic Mixup. And the pressure continuing in here. Lansky, can he win the land right here? There we go. Shrugs coming in. There is the GG. HRG taking the final map of the first and only best of three to win the season 14 grand finals for the invite land. And they are going to pack their bags for I-49 with their success on their backs. And, uh, well, how will they do there? Uh, only time will tell. Um, this is probably going to be released actually after the conclusion of I-49. If, uh, if you want to cheat, if you want to uh, look back on the live VODs, uh, go right on ahead to uh, Vanilla TV. XTV will be producing uh, some of the matches from that event for your entertainment. Uh, looking forward to uh, working on that. The matches so far have been amazing. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to get back in the game. Uh, thanks for everybody for watching. Uh, do got some Dota videos in the works as well. Don't hate. Celebrate. I am Eckstein, and I will see you next time. Peace out.